Hey everybody, Ian here with Simpatico Dog Training. In a few short hours, I'm going to be leaving for Syracuse to take my CPDT test. Now, for those of you that don't know, CPDT stands for Certified Professional Dog Trainer, and it's a test administered by the Certifying Council of Professional Dog Trainers. So, it's kind of like a national certification. And this is something that I have wanted to do for a long time, ever since I started training. And back in those early days, I really looked at all the different kinds of certifications that one could acquire. So as soon as I could, I got my membership in the APDT, the Association of Professional Dog Trainers. Soon after that, I got my uh, CGC Evaluators License from the American Kennel Club. And this has been kind of that pie in the sky that I've always kept my eye on because it proves that I'm legit, that I'm serious about what I do, that I'm not just a hack that does this on the side for a few extra bucks. Now, the process to sign up for that was really extensive. I had to fill out a spreadsheet documenting that I'd done 300 hours of training and professional development in the last few years. That part was easy. I had done way more than 300 hours. I also had to have a letter from a vet saying that I was a uh, conscientious and ethical trainer. My vet, Emily Dugan, over at uh, Broadway Animal Hospital helped me out with that, and I really appreciate that. She's a wonderful lady. Uh, and I had to send in all sorts of copies and, and documents and signed things. It was just crazy. So here it is. It's coming up. The test is coming up. Um, and I've been studying like a madman the last several weeks. I got my dog owner's veterinary handbook, and I've just been going through that, looking at every kind of information I could with vaccines and parasites and symptoms and sicknesses and maladies and treatments. Um, I've been taking notes in this big fat notebook. For weeks and going over it every night um, but I think I'm I think I'm pretty good I think I'm pretty good uh, here's a real quick breakdown of what's on the test so 32% of it is on instructional skills 6% is on animal husbandry 20% is on canine ethology which is how dogs learn 32% on learning science techniques and application 7% on training and management equipment, and 3% on professional practices and ethics. Um, it's a 250 question test. It's all in you know, a multiple choice on computers, and it's being conducted at this really crazy high security place in, in Syracuse, this big testing center. And it's one of those, you know, you can't show up with any personal items, no cell phones or backpacks or anything like that. Um, you have to show photo ID and you have to bring along documents that they sent you that you signed uh, and all this rigmarole just say look I'm really who I say I am and I belong here and then of course they lock you in the vault for a few hours and you come out bleary eyed and dehydrated and hopefully somebody tells you how you did. So I thought it would be fun to document this whole process uh, from now until taking it uh, and I really appreciate you sticking with me and um, wish me luck! Right, here we are on the road to Syracuse. And we're gonna actually stay at Christie's parents' house tonight because the test is at nine in the morning. So I gotta get up early and be there half hour early, make sure that uh, I'm who I say I am. Christie's driving so that I can do a little bit of studying on the way and uh, we'll have a good dinner with the good fellows tonight and then test in the morning. Well, here I am. I'm at the testing facility. I actually just finished my test and I'm waiting for Christy's dad to come get me, pick me up. I think I did pretty well. Um, it only took me about an hour and a half. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. And I feel like I did pretty well on most of it. A lot of the questions I just rocked through, I knew right away. But there was, of course, there was a few things that I'd never heard of and then there were some questions that were just worded funny like, they're all terrible answers, you know. So, paperwork says it can take as long as six weeks to get my results. So, um, hopefully it won't take that long. And I guess we'll see. So... I have been checking the mail every day since the test. Is today the day I'm gonna find out how I did? It's been a long time and I have been waiting on the edge of my seat. 
Yesterday, I got a great big envelope in the mail and I knew that was the one. So with trembling hands, I opened it up and pulled it out and I passed. I am now a certified professional dog trainer, knowledge assessed. I am so psyched with this. Now, the info that came with it said that passing was 193 out of 250 questions. I got 223 correct, which is just over 89%. I would have liked a little bit higher, but I am not complaining. I'm very happy with that result. I also got this sweet new certificate that I just bought the frame for today. Oh yeah, this is going in the training studio. So what does this all mean for simpatico dog training? Well, if you've been to the website or the Facebook in the last day or so, you might notice that I've already updated all the credentials to reflect this new certificate. This is big for me. Like I said, this shows that I take what I do seriously, that my knowledge has been assessed by national professionals so that my students and my clients are getting the best training that they can for their money. And I'm really pleased to be able to provide that for them. The other thing, is you will notice this wicked studio that I've built in my home. This video right here, documenting the CPDT certificate process, is kicking off Simpatico's new vlog series. That means that my normal blog that I've been posting on my website is now going to become regular video content. And it's gonna be the same evergreen material. Tips, training, resources, product reviews, my thoughts on things, all delivered in video content. And I'm really psyched to be able to bring this to you guys. I think it's gonna bring everything up to a new level. The other thing that I'm gonna do with the videos is I'm gonna create content specifically for my students. Things for their pre-class homework or for the big things in class, especially as they advance through the levels, so that they can download those videos at home and watch and learn even though they can't be there at the studio with me all the time. I also want to create content for students that may be outside of the area that, that can't come to classes. So this will become purchasable and downloadable content like online lessons for jumping or excessive barking or hyperactivity, things that a lot of folks really deal with with their dogs and I'm hoping that this will open doors for them too. So I'm really excited to bring all this to you. Um, I can't tell you how hard I've been working on this for the last several months, and some of you guys have seen the behind the scenes stuff, but it's starting right now. So thank you for staying with me. Thank you for all of your encouragement and support. Uh, and if you're new to Simpatico, please reach out to me. I'm a heck of a guy. I'm not, I don't bite, except on evenings and weekends, but I'm just kidding. Um, as always, folks, keep practicing, keep learning, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.